Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. So, um, tonight is going to be a Dollar Tree haul. And I'm going to give y'all some updates that y'all have been waiting for. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around a spell. If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button. Ding the bell next door if you want to get notifications of future videos. Thumbs up, likes are always appreciated. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And Miss Karma is coming to make a cameo. Um, a lot of y'all have asked about her. As you can see, she has gotten pretty big. Hey, little girl. Her motor's still running like crazy. Um, she's still my little shadow, but she's just, you know, constantly on the go. Um... But she's my little partner. Aren't you, little girl? And she still likes to play. Let's see um, how cooperative she's going to be for this video. Um, so we're gonna. I'm gonna start with the haul, and then I will give y'all the news. Um. So I went to a one of the bigger Dollar Trees because I was looking for some items um, for a friend of mine, which I still didn't find. But um, I did pick up these Good Sense drawstring bags. Um, I, you know, they're a dollar. There's only five, but they're fat, you know, fairly sturdy, and um, I just always have one close by so that. You know, I can throw shopping bags in it, packaging in it. Um, you know, I have them, I keep one of these in the laundry room so, you know, like, I can f throw away the, the, um, the bottles, you know. I don't know what you think you're getting into, little lady, but anyway, so picked up that. Um, I found this, it's Armor All. Fresh FX, so it's like a little air freshener um, spray for your car. I thought I'd give it a try. They only had this one and the new car smell. And this one was pretty good. It's called Tranquil Skies. The new car smell one kind of smelled kind of stinky, so I left it there. I had seen this in some hauls. Um, basically a little utility knife. Um, and... The last time I checked, these weren't out yet, so I picked this up. Thought I'd give it a try. I think I'm going to have to find a little container to keep it in because there's really nothing, you know, like protecting you from the blades. There's not a, doesn't seem to be a cap for it when you put it on, so. So anyway, so there's that. Thought I'd give this um, nail... Um, buffer and file a, a go. I have to keep it away from Miss Karma because um, I'm sure she will think it's a personal chew toy for herself. Then, um, I p really sweetie, yeah, her tail is getting really pretty fluffy. Um, <laughs> Karma, stop. I was looking in their their beauty area because um, K is for Karen. I believe it was in one of her um, hauls. They had some new nail art, and it came. I believe it came in a little round container. I didn't see it, but they had the little bows in again, and so I picked these three up. Um, I I get them. I keep them in all in a container. No, sweetie, you're not eating that. And um, I just use them for extra embellishments on cards or ribbons, you know, stuff like that. So, there's that. Karma, no. I have a feeling these items here, she is not going to leave alone. They are putting their Christmas out. And so I picked up a silver, a gold, and a green tree. They're all the same size. Um, the way they had them stacked in the store, they almost look like, you know, they're different sized trees until I picked them up and realized they were falling apart. Don't know where I'm going to put them yet or how I'm going to use them. 
I think maybe like take those little battery operated lights, you know, that you can get there and stick them up and string them through so they'll light up. And um, so yeah, so picked those guys up. We'll see how long it takes her to come over and start chewing on it. Then they had um, washi and uh, I r wasn't really going to pay it much attention until I saw the little starfish. It's the really thin washi. So they had starfish, they had the fish scales, some little spark sparkly sparkles, whatever there. And this says Simply Amazing, and then you have your glitter. And it's actually, for a dollar, you get quite a bit of washi. Now, whether how well it holds, that's another story. But I liked that one. And then this one is, of course, as soon as I saw the cats, had to pick it up, and then all the little paw prints. And then this is Little Doggy, so I'll probably gift this to someone who's a, a puppy lover. And, um, of course, the orange and the blue. Of course, I had to have it because, you know, I'm a gator girl. So, come on. Are you going to jump down? What are you going to do? Come on. Sorry, guys. Come on. Let me help. Come here. Ow! Oh. No, you're not getting up there either. Hold on, guys. I'm sorry. All right. Next, I saw this really sad looking uh, white bottle brush tree. I'm hoping that I can make it a little cuter with some ornaments and some lights on it. I figure I'll just put it up and this will be one of those trees that can stay up all year long. And um, yeah, so pick that up. Um, my friend P was looking for some bells, and so I picked her some up and picked me up some more. Um, I don't know what sizes she wanted, so I picked up a couple different... I picked up small ones and some big ones. So there's that. And then they have the, the Christmas um, little metal die cuts. So peace, joy, and believe. I only picked up two, but I think if I go back next week, I'm going to pick up some more if they have them in stock. So we're getting into potluck season, you know, it works. So I went and picked up some utensils that if they don't come home, I'm not going to cry. And these I really loved. I thought these would be pretty on like to help decorate uh, gifts and then um, since they're an ornament they can take them off the gift and either use them on the tree or do whatever and so I got three of the red and the green and then one of the red so I'll probably grab some more the next time I go I mean they're metal um, you know I don't know how long they'll hold up looks like they're attached fairly well so so yeah, so picked those guys up. And is this, yeah, this is the last bag. This guy here, I think he, he's probably going to go up on my front door. Nothing exciting about it, but I do think he's cute. But a little red truck with the Christmas tree sticking out in the back. I thought he was adorable. It says Merry Christmas or... Shoot, I don't know where I'm going to put him, but um, for a dollar, he was coming home with me. <clears throat> and then the little Christmas camper with the Christmas tree up top. And I have to figure out what I'm going to do in here. I think I'm going to make a wreath and put it on here because that right there is really bugging me where the glitter's showing through the door. But... Um, and then I was also thinking maybe I could like put some lights so it'll backlight behind it. I think it'll look cuter or more cute or honestly I'm too tired to. Oh, I muckied up my tree. I'll have to fix it. Okay. 
but um, I was happy to find him. I was trying to find the little red truck or the little camper ornaments. Um, I I can't remember who I saw that hauled them. I want to say it's Cares for Karen, um, but I didn't find them. So there's that. But I did find these little guys. Come on. There are two different little cactus or cacti. And um, one's a little, well, actually the same height, but they're, you can see this one's a little more short and squat and but it's got the prettier flower. And I just thought they were adorable and <clears throat> I don't know, somewhere in the craft room. I'm gonna be running out of space to display little cutie goodies. But, so, that is my haul, y'all. I, I could have sworn there was more, but I'm guessing not. Actually, there is, I'll just share it later. They had um, a wire, um, waste basket. I figured I'm going to paint it pink. I haven't decided if I'm spray painting it pink or if I'm going to spray paint it mint, but I figured I'd spray paint it and that way it'll just sit right underneath my desk and I can throw stuff into it. Um, so, so that is my Dollar Tree haul. <clears throat> now, on to the news. A lot of y'all have been w patiently waiting. Again, I've told you guys, um, I'm. thank you so much for the, you know, the positive vibes, the thoughts, the prayers you guys have been sending my way. Um, we had a new, I, like I mentioned a couple weeks ago, we had a new contractor come in. And it really wasn't a good situation. Um... We met, they talked about, um, how they look forward to continue working with me, you know, what a great, you know, um, work that they, you know, that had been presented to them that I've been doing, um, the previous, my previous supervisor who was the COR, we worked very hard to put together the program that we had going and expanding our translation services. Um, just a lot of things. And they basically did nearly the polar opposite of everything they said they were going to do. Um, and then, then and, um, see, I don't like talking bad. Um, basically, they weren't up front. And personally, I feel that they were more about the bottom line and profit versus what was best for the mission. And they really weren't aren't following the scope of the contract and on occasion I felt belittling and there was no support and I, I had to walk away. Um, there was some assistance and I was able to move into another department. I did take a small pay cut but my happiness and my health is more important than the, the the almighty dollar. I mean, granted, yeah, a decent paycheck is nice, but the stress is gone. Um, today was my first day in the new department. Everybody was wonderful, helpful, um, very explanatory, you know, any questions I had, they were happy to answer and elaborate if I had more questions. And it is, it's not admin. Um, and I'm fine with that. I'm going to be getting some workout. Should be losing some weight, which is a plus. I just have to be careful, as y'all know. Um, 
but I think it's going to be a good thing and I'm uh, that's I'm happy I'm happy with that so um, I will say I will probably not have as much energy as I've had in the past uh, we did a lot of walking today um, uh, taking care of stock and inventory but I think I'm gonna sleep good and that's nice too because I haven't been getting good sleep either if you're new to my channel um, I try to be upbeat it's just the past couple of weeks it's just hasn't exactly been the case and I apologize for that um, but yeah and I don't always talk about my I, I don't always talk about work on my channel <laughs> but anyway um, I know some of y'all had been worried and had been had been waiting and again I didn't want to say anything until it was official and today it was official so I I will still get to see people that I worked with which is nice and um, a lot of people actually came into the department where I was at and you know they're like we're so happy you know they were they were they knew it was coming and they were happy but at the same time sad that I left but um, it made me feel good, you know, that I was appreciated and I'll be missed. At the same time, sad because I won't be working with them on a daily basis. However, I have met some, you know, wonderful new people today and hopefully some new work friends. And um, you can never have too many friends. I mean, um, I'm, you know, I just, you know, I just think to me, wealth is in your friends and your family. So... Anyway, if if anybody wants more details, you know, you're happy to email me. Again, it's just not something I'm going to put all out <laughs> there. Um but um yeah, I'm 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 happy um I'm going to be a little worker bee instead of a little um a lead. <laughs> so it'll be a nice little change. Um and uh, we'll we'll see where it leads. Um, like I said, I was with my last position a little over two years, and I loved I loved my job. I I, I loved my job, and it was very fulfilling. And um, I enjoyed being able to help patients and staff. And that part I'm gonna miss. But okay, enough of me rambling. Um, I hope y'all had. Um, have had a great start to your week and um, this weekend um, we are going to be doing an unboxing and reviewing of some new Arteza and um, we are actually I know shocker we're gonna make a card on my channel I know right your mouth your jaw just dropped to the floor um, I, I have some things in mind I've been wanting to try, and when they reached out to me, I just thought um, they would go together nicely. So we'll make some cards, and um, yeah. So again, hope you guys have a great rest of your week. I will possibly be back on again tomorrow because um, I need to share my small thrift finds that I'm all excited about, um, and... I'm saying um a lot today, aren't I? I'm really tired. <laughs> so, that's it, guys. Thanks for stopping by. As always, I love you guys to pieces. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.